This is my 72 volt Anioki. It is capable of speeds of 70 to 80 miles per hour. But the problem is, even when the bike was stock, I would have trouble with the brakes. I feel like there was just never any bite with it, you know? These are the stock brakes. I just took them off. I guess they're okay if you're going really slow. But even before I upgraded the bike, and it was only capable of like 32 miles per hour, it just, I feel like it wouldn't bite the brakes as hard as I wanted to. So, we're in for a treat today. We're gonna be testing out these $120 budget brakes. They're actually Chinese brakes, it says right here, made in China. And they're called J4H, J4H? I don't know how the heck you say that, but they are four piston and they're hydraulic brakes. They also have the, the cutoff sensor. So we're gonna unbox this, install them, and test them out. Let's see what we got. Some instructions. And they do come pre-bled. I think this is used to cut the hose. I think it's used to cut the hose and install part of the little piece that goes into the hose. We got some screws, some needles. This is my first time installing hydraulic brakes. So, we're gonna figure this out together. We got the brake levers. Looks nice. Looks like there's some like, gold finishing right here. I like this knob. It can adjust the, the distance of the brake lever to be farther closer to you. Yeah, this is the two pin cutoff sensor. This is what we use to cut off the motor and to also engage regen. Ooh, more gold accents. I love it. Yeah, I can see in here, there's four pistons. I'm so excited. So I was recommended these brakes from two of my buddies. They both weigh over 200 pounds and they have some fast bikes. One of them was on a Suron and the other one is on a modified um, like Super 73 clone that can go 45 miles per hour. So hopefully, if we can stop them, it can stop me. Let's go figure out how to get these bad boys on. So I got the caliper mounted. <laughs> I used a few adapters and this thing is hanging out right here. Probably gonna zip tie this to a fender or something just so that it doesn't get caught in the wheel. It's pretty stuck in place. Um, I'm just gonna do this for now. I'm eventually gonna order a 220 millimeter adapter so that I can fit this um, this caliper on correctly. Right now, we're just you know we're just working with we're working with what we have. So I decided I'm not gonna cut it, at least not yet. I'm just gonna bundle it up like this, a circle. Try to make it as try to make it as neat as possible and tuck it and hide it behind my headlight so it'll come up looking like this I guess there's a specific order I won't need to place on this hose first I think it's this cap and then this and after that So the hose line comes with a little cap like this. I think we're supposed to remove that and take this screw out, place this little guy in there, and then put the hose through it. I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna keep a towel up top just in case mineral oil gets everywhere. Is there any oil in there? Oh, yeah, I do see some oil in there. I'm scared, what if I mess up? Ooh. All right. Is that supposed to be like that? Shit, I don't know, man. I do not know. I'm gonna take the cap off this. Put that in my pocket so I don't lose it. So just push it in. Oh, you know what? And then maybe this screws everything in place. 
hope I'm doing this right. It's not screwing all the way down. I'm not sure if it's supposed to or not. Oh, I wish they came with better instructions. Oh, it doesn't feel squishy. Oh yeah, there's a nice wall. It's like I'm hitting a nice little wall right there. I think I did it guys. I think I put together my first set of hydraulic brakes. I've had other hydraulic brakes before, but they came with everything already connected. It feels good. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Guys, I am not a bike mechanic. People ask me to put their bikes together because they see me throw on a kit and go really fast on the bike. But stuff like this, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm learning just like the rest of you guys. But the lever feels really nice. Wow. Can't wait to try this. Sometimes, you know, when you're doing this yourself, you're learning, you just gotta go for it. You know, you gotta say F it, make a choice, and hope for the best. The rear brake is gonna go a lot faster because now, I I guess I kind of know what I'm doing. Yeah, so look at all this cable uh, hose length that I have. I'm just gonna tuck it back here. Maybe use a zip tie or some type of Velcro and just hug it against the bike. One of my buddies told me not to cut it because if something goes wrong, you can return it to Amazon. Shout out to you, Chris. So for the rear hose, I'm not gonna route it internally like the stock. I'm just gonna put it through these Velcro strips I have right here. Just easy access. So this was the stock Anioki mount and it appears that the new calipers are a bit shorter than the old ones. So I won't be able to use this mount anymore. You can see right there, it won't make it, it's too short. Well, since we can't install that caliper for now at least, let's get started on connecting this hose to the other brake lever. I feel like I should start a series about <laughs> working on bikes for dummies. So on YouTube, there's usually tutorial videos, but all of those people are like pros and professional mechanics. So they tend to skip over the little parts, thinking that everyone knows exactly what to do. But a lot of times, a lot of us are just lost, just figuring it out as we go. I don't know how tight you're supposed to go. I'm not gonna force it anymore. I don't wanna strip anything. So I'm gonna take this rubber piece, cover that. Give it pumps. Yeah. It was just as good as the first one. All right, so both levers are on there now. So the right lever for the rear brake, it was hitting the bar for a little bit, but I started pumping it. It feels better now. So I'm gonna be done for today. I'm gonna come back tomorrow I'm gonna work on this bike some more tomorrow. And we're gonna work on lining up the calipers, which will be super fast, hopefully. And trying to find an adapter for this guy. We got the rear caliper to fit perfectly by using some bolts as spacers. As you can see here, there's a bolt and a lock washer. And I'm pretty much just using these oversized bolts. Check that out. No rub. No sound. No scrapes. Oh yeah. Man, earlier when I put my bike on the rack and I centered the calipers, there wasn't any disc rub. And now the disc rub is here when I'm riding. That is so weird. Yeah, we're just gonna bed our brakes in right now. We're gonna start with the front ones. Do maybe like three uh, three light pulls with the lever on the front, and then three light with the back, and then repeat it, but pull a little harder. I pulled over to check if there's any oil leaks anywhere. No, no oil leaks. Looks 
looking pretty good. Almost done with the bedding process. So just so you guys know, I did have a 250 millimeter rotor up front, but I changed it to a 220. So I downgraded the size. So these are Maguras and they're floating discs. So even though it's a downgrade in size, I do feel like the benefit of having a floating disc is gonna, is gonna help me more with the heat. So I'm pretty much done with the bedding process. Let's go, let's go do some stops. Uh, we're gonna get up to speed at about 30 miles per hour and then hit the brakes. Oh yeah, these are way better than the stock ones. Way better. And just so you guys know, there is no regen turned on right now. So this is all pure braking power, straight from the calipers. Let's do it again, 30 miles per hour. Let's hit the brakes a little harder this time. Oh yeah, so good, so good. These four piston, man, if they're complete dog shit, I would return them. But these are pretty good, especially for the price. It's like 120 bucks. If you guys want to check them out, I'll put a link in the description. And what surprised me was that the reviews for these brakes that come with the motor cutoff are like amazing. It's like three and a half stars, right? But the same exact brakes from the same company, same four piston and everything, without the cutoff, have much better reviews. It's looking good. Do I feel some heat? A little bit, a little bit, not much. It would have been even more hot if these weren't the floating discs. The 250 millimeter disc I had, I could feel the heat. It was crazy. Like if you cracked an egg on the rotor, you would definitely be to cook it. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Please give this video a like. Subscribe if you want. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.